Have you wondered about your soul's evolution? Stay tuned to see where you are on this compulsory journey. I am sure you are familiar with the term, as above, so below. This means what happens on one level of reality also happens on every other level. This includes spirituality. Here, we will learn how our spiritual growth imitates the current school system and we'll use this analogy to determine our status on the spiritual journey. Now let's get started by taking a trip back down memory lane to explore where we are on our soul's journey. We start in spiritual elementary school, where the major themes are learning and testing. At this first stage, we are learning what builds and what destroys, how to give and receive, what is right and what is wrong. We are learning all about our emotions and how to use them. We learn about love, hate, pain, peace, freedom, and so much more. As we learn about these topics, we begin to test the learnings in our environment. The testing helps us to continuously determine how we achieve our goals and how we interact with others. Even at this early stage, we are given the choice or free will to determine how we evolve. As a child, we can choose to be honest, patient, happy, loving, or we can choose the opposite. The behaviors learned in spiritual elementary school critically impact our futures. Helping children practice healthy spiritual actions and thoughts will drastically help to achieve future success and soul elevations. For example, we have seen children stealing, fighting, and hurting others before they can even read. This child has placed a higher importance on dark forces. At any time we can choose the light, but it is up to us to recognize the need, importance, and benefits that come with choosing positivity. When we elevate to spiritual middle school, the key themes become practice and design. We move from learning and testing to practicing and designing the behaviors learned in spiritual elementary school. We begin to practice building or destroying, giving versus taking. We design our interactions with others and set our intentions on our desires, which can be both positive and or negative. Spiritual middle schoolers have developed the following characteristics. Those on an ascension path 
tend to lead, have good intent, and embody self-discovery. Those on a descension path follow negativity, have malicious intent, and are running from their own self. Our goal as a spiritual middle schooler is to learn that we get what we give. In spiritual high school, the key things are implementation and construction. Now that we have practiced and designed our behaviors in spiritual middle school, we elevate to consistently implementing these behaviors. We have every opportunity to correct anything that causes us to repeat a spiritual cycle, grade, or spiritual lesson. In spiritual high school, we are implementing behaviors that will either build a weak foundation or a strong foundation. A spiritual high schooler on a path of ascension embodies self-awareness, independence, positivity, and is gaining balance. A spiritual high schooler on the dissension path has addictions, codependency, negativity, and imbalance. There are people of every age range who have not graduated from spiritual high school. The most important lessons of the spiritual high schooler is to know that we choose to elevate or demotivate ourselves. In spiritual college, you are becoming a master of self. Your behaviors are sustainable, repeatable, and you are your own subject matter expert. You have achieved self-operational excellence, whether it be for positive or negative. Some examples include professional thieves or scammers that have devoted their lives to taking from others. On the positive end of the spectrum, we have professional life coaches, physical trainers who have dedicated their lives to helping their selves and others. A spiritual master on an ascension path is mainly focused on building. This individual naturally displays integrity, unity, respect, responsibility, and healthy accountability. A spiritual master on the dissension path mainly focuses on destruction. This individual naturally displays depression, stress, sadness, and anger. As a master, a spiritual master, you understand and know that you made yourself. When you have graduated to a spiritual doctor, you are focused on continuous advancements, which can be both positive or negative. A spiritual doctor teaches other and finds new ways to innovate. The spiritual doctor understands the science of self. They have learned how to master dark and light. For example, a gang ringleader 
teaches spiritual middle schoolers how to work in the dark and disregard the light, which will help them to ascend quicker. A positive example is a herbalist who creates concoctions to help heal our bodies. A spiritual doctor on the path of ascension is unconditional love, eternal light, embodies in powerful intuition, has the ability of telepathy, and can adapt to any and all situations. A spiritual doctor on the decision path is hatred, darkness, disconnected, and stuck. What is your choice? Will you be a guru of the light or a guru of the dark? As we progress on our soul's evolution, it is important to achieve balance. We will experiment in both positive and negative activities, and it is so common to repeat spiritual cycles until we have learned the required lessons. Energy is continuous, and we reap what we sow. We can choose to descend by refusing to grow and change and by dwelling in our lower selves. Or we can make the process easy. We can make each season our best season by letting go of what no longer serves us. By choosing love and light. So what's your spiritual grade level? Are you ascending or descending? And how can we further evaluate ourselves to achieve our highest heights? Continue to elevate, graduate, and break destructive cycles. Heal your childhood and ancestral wounds to become your best self. By healing yourself, you heal the world. Like, subscribe, and share this message with anyone and everyone. Show love, spread knowledge, for knowledge is one of our greatest powers.